Hello everyone and welcome to more Murdered to Su Soul Suspect even. <laughs> That's a massive mouthful. So yeah, we just walked, stumbled in really on this investigation, so let's get straight on with it. You gotta have faith in the department. Damn right you do. Gotta remind myself, this killer's flesh and blood like all of us. What's my brother thinking? No. No suspects at this point, sir. This boils down to sloppy leadership, Lieutenant. Whoever made the call for Ronan to go in alone, it's on you. We lose one of our own tonight, and you have no suspects and no leads? Look, Captain, he wore gloves and apparently didn't touch anything in the apartment other than the knob on the front door. He didn't leave prints, fibers, or anything else traceable. If you think I don't want this guy to pay more than you, you are sadly mistaken. Watch your tone, Rex. Everyone knows he was your brother-in-law, so you don't need to remind us. But you lose your cool again, and more of your own will join Ronan. You understand me? You find this guy, or a clue that leads to his doorstep. Now! That's an order. Yeah, understood. Oh man, like, the phone doesn't look that great. Watch your tone, Rex. I love that. That's like easily the best line of this game so far. Uh. Like this game, it doesn't look amazing, but it's a really good concept. I love it. I love investigation games like this. Oh no, possessed him already. Wish I could say that's the weirdest thing I saw tonight. No, we're going to answer that. You bastards. Oh, someone new. What would make him remember what he should be doing? Uh, work? He's at work? We gotta find that info about the missing tenant. He update, okay. This bit. She's here. I think I've learned all I can here. I better go find that witness. Take this guy. Gotta be able to bring him down somehow. 
<laughs> All these cops are crap in their pants. It's one killer, guys. Whoa. Look at all this stuff I can mess with. I can't tell you anything, son. Not in homicide. I've only been in the department for six months. Is it even safe in the police station? No. What the hell? Massive gun. Baxter, you still relying on that wizard lady? You know I ain't into all that spiritual crap. But she's onto something. Results are results. You find a more reliable source, you let me know. Interesting. So like, even he thought it was crap, but it worked. Epic. Oh, this could be awkward. Gun. Best power ever. What? Did they actually put one in E? Oh no. Detectives get all the glory. Hey look, he's playing Deus Ex. Oh man, what a cheap promotion. Oh, can't go that way. Everyone's playing Deus Ex, man. Someone do some freaking work. Robinson's got the girl in the room. I don't know how she could be related to this. But he's got his methods to persuade. Yeah. Oh, this guy's not playing Deus Ex. He's just on his PC. Rex. Oh, man. Huh. Oh, it's these two guys. These must be Rex's boys. And they're like, God damn it, I hate Rex so much. It makes me do work when everyone else plays Deus Ex. Boom. Two coffee machines in this place. I suppose how many people they got working here. Is that Just Cause 2? It is. Ah, more shameless promotion. Thanks, Square Enix. Bam. Bam. Uh, so much to freaking collect, I love it. Every time I play this game, I feel like I'm doing so much. Not much here, though. They're rubbish. Ah. Oh, who's this guy? He's like Brad, but can I actually help him instead? Oh. No, he killed himself. Let's find out. What are you in for? It's too complicated to get into. Let's just say that I wasn't about to let some judge decide how to spend the rest of my life. That's my choice, so I made it. Either way, no, it doesn't matter now, does it? If it didn't, we wouldn't still be here. Maybe I could help? Nah, I appreciate it, but you know, it looks like you got your own shit to deal with. I'll figure it out on my own. Always have. 
Thanks, though. Yeah. I'm still probably gonna figure it out. Do what you gotta do. I'll be fine. I've gotta get out of here. There's a ghost right over there in that cell. Don't you have some other <laughs> place you can keep me? It's freaking out, man. Look at me. I'm covered in tattoos. If only I could tell my younger self what I would become. Look at that poster, man. The ghost is right there. He doesn't see me, though. Ah! Genuinely scared the crap out of me, that guy did. Everybody here has pictures of naked women. Surely this isn't conducive to calm prisoners. Why do I get stuck with the crazy guy? Because you're in prison! Oh, this is dark. Uh, mind if I ask what happened? What does it look like? I died. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can see that. I meant, how did you die? Autopsies aren't this thorough when the cause of death is cut and dry. I don't know. A bunch of pills. Some were sleeping pills. It was supposed to be peaceful. I didn't know that you... wake up. What am I supposed to do now? I wish I knew, kid. I'll let you know if I figure it out myself. Two spiders in the web. He got his own tattoo wrong. It's just a tattoo. That's all I know. Focus on your work. Yeah, man. And this raven, it's like chained to... Are those prison bars? We don't pay you to analyze tattoos. Yes, sir. But tattoos might tell us something. <laughs> Confession of... Kind of maxed out what I can do down here. Oh, maybe not. That's the girl I need to see. Like this gun. Pretty much it. Each one of these keys is a felony. Each one. You get that, right? No? All right, it's your funeral. Sit tight, relax. You're going to be here for a while. Fuck! All right, look. Look, I might be able to help you. Is your mom's book from the Bell Killer case here? Yes, and it would probably help me find my mom, but as I told you before, you're dead. How can you possibly help me? Hey, I know this place better than you. Now, who did your mom work with here? Who? I don't know. She just called him Bastard. Baxter. All right. His office was on the second floor. You stick with me, I'll get you there. Let's go. Go where? They're watching. Not for long. 
Oh, can I mess with the cameras? Epic. Oh, crap. What am I supposed to do, man? Someone best come deal with this crap. Not working. I was too busy playing Deus Ex. Here, screw your printer. You three are just useless. Someone answer the phone. Fix the printer. You. I bet it's your damn desk. Look, answer it. Follow my lead. I'll get you past these cops and to the door on the other side. Piece of cake. Yeah. Last time you got caught, Magellan. Stay low or they'll see you. Cop eight meters. No freaking kidding. Come get your coffee. Bam. Come on, kid, hurry. Someone answer the phone. Someone fix the printer. Machine? Come on, but stay low. Talk to her. Nice job, kid. We're almost there. You don't need a cheerleader. Hey, I got us this far, didn't I? Got yourself killed, Mr. Bullet Holes. Duh. Uh, hey, kid. Eat these things. Uh, I, I can't get across there. You're going to have to help me. Well, can't you just fly over it? Fly? Or? I'm a ghost, not a plane, all right? And look, you need me to tell you which office is his. Duh. Don't read any of my thoughts, or, or think anything creepy. Oh, this doesn't make us even. Okay, man, get out. I got this. <laughs> I got this. Gonna uh, collect this thing. Your faces. How many people playing Deus Ex up here? Quite a few. Let's see if I can find any more guns. Collect. Yeah, there's a gun. Reveal. Backs is a piece of crap. But uh, we've established that. Keep establishing it. Two more guns. Oh, they're not down there, though. Must be something to do with what's her name. Girl. Alright, let's get these cops back on their Deus Ex. Play through. Answer your phones. 
he is not fussed in the slightest. All right. Okay, kid. she carried in her brain you made it tolerable well I guess you must be together now gun Rex O'Connor name Wait, the final gun. Let's see what this is. I can still remember my first day on the force. Salem PD was in this tiny building on the edge of town. It was old, crowded and completely insufficient to handle the day-to-day -day operations. Protecting Salem was getting harder and harder. But finally, the city decided to convert the old armory into our new headquarters. And when we finally moved in, I couldn't believe how big and modern the place was. Not bad for one of the first buildings in Salem. Plus, it just felt right. It used to be the city's first line of defense in a wild frontier, and now it had resumed its post once again, only this time in a modern world. The first week was a little chaotic as we settled in. One officer reported that someone had removed his gun from his locker. It took him 20 minutes to track it down, and when he did, he found it leaning against the wall in one of the unoccupied offices. Also, the late night station operator reported a strange phone malfunction. Occasionally, when someone would call in to report a shooting, the recording would just stop. The call would cut out, and the voice of the panic caller would just loop over and over again until the phone was unplugged. Soon it was pretty clear that these strange occurrences weren't just honest mistakes or faulty phone lines. One evening, the medical examiner came running down the hall in tears. She noticed that her scalpels and other tools had gone missing. She went to get more from the cabinet, but stopped cold at what she saw in the reflection. A ghostly silhouette of a Civil War soldier was standing over one of the corpses. She spun around, is gone. She barely noticed how cold the room had gotten before running off. Of course, the guys didn't believe her. Hell, I didn't either. Until I saw it with my own eyes. I was working late and got up to get more coffee. As I rounded the corner, I saw it in the reflection of the trophy case. It was staring right at me. He lifted an old ghostly rifle and pulled the trigger. The trophy case fractured into a spider web of cracked glass and I, I took off running. The captain didn't believe me. I had docked my next paycheck to replace the glass. I didn't care if people thought I was crazy. I know what I saw. People sometimes ask me if anyone else has seen it since or if the specter still roams the halls. I always tell them the same thing. I wouldn't know. I transferred to Boston. Probably a good move, eh? Right. Uh, yeah, where are we trying to get her to go? It's <sighs> close. Where is everybody? Detectives usually work the day shift. Okay, but which office is Baxter's? 
It's in the back hallway to the right. Okay. Okay. We needed to stop and rem. Are you trying to get caught? You're about as stealthy as a tornado. Ugh. The desk was like that when we got here. Yeah, I know. How many places can you hide a book in one tiny little room? Who knows? hiding your real rap sheet. Now I have proof. He never used that blackmail file against me. Sure, take your time. No rush, I'm sure the book will find itself. All right, just calm down a second here. Cops don't hide things in plain sight. Just need to figure this out. murder changes. The inner zeal is the same. This is why the killings seem random, unrelated. But the police can't see these connections. Except Officer Baxter. I can't say I trust him. But he's my only chance. Hey, can you check that voicemail message? Okay. Rex was still asking for the book, so it is probably still in here somewhere. Good. Oh, what? I can't see, because I'm on the wrong angle. Gun rack. Oh, there must be a latch inside that opens inward. I better tell the girl. I think I found it. Show me. There's a button on the side of the gun rack. Oh, please tell me you understand what all these symbols are. Yep, yeah, some of them. That's weird. The last thing she wrote is he knows about me. Oh, God, that means he was after her. You don't know that. Come on, we should move. Wait, what is that? The museum. That's strange. Why would this be in her book? I don't know. Just, just take it and figure it out later. She's here somewhere. I'll check here. Head toward the back office. We gotta go. Stay out of sight. Go, go!
Alright guys, so uh, that's it for this part. I'm going to leave it here. Boom. Make sure he doesn't find her. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please do follow me on all the things below. Go to Reddit, tell me what you want me to do next, that kind of stuff. Uh, and I'll catch you in the next part. Alright, thank you very much guys. See ya.